So, hello, welcome to the second chapter of this Python 3 tutorial. This time I will show you how Viber works. This, this is the shell of Python. So, we will first try things here. To enter to this shell, you just, if you have a Windows, go on the, with the Windows key and type IDLE. So, you will have this one. So, this is a shell that Python provides. Here you can see the output of your programs, <coughs> or you, you can try the commands here, for example, if you want to do some math here, it plus 2, you will turn 5, 2, 2 or 4, Two minus ten. So here, this is uh, this is shell. It just shows an output of commands. In hello world, we print hello world. So this is how this shell works. Here you can try and test your commands and Python comes with an IDE you can just go here file in file and you will see this let me show you here you can do your programs for example if you can if you want to do something like this So, then you save it. Let's put it in the file. So, this is the tool on the We will save that dot p file. So, to run it, you just press F5. And as you can see in the shell, it will run. So it was kind of yoga. In the shell, it will run. Okay. Let's click load. Second thing I wanted to teach you today, other than doing things in the, in the shell and programming here, is the input part. So, every time you have programs, a program, the user will input some data. So, we have something like, I don't know, age is a variable. The variable is a position in memory where you put in, where you put data. So, what data you will have? For example, you have uh, age 34, and you can print the age, right? You press and save it and press a file and as you can see it will just print 34. Why that? You put in the variable age 34 as a string and you print that. It's not the same this. If you put this, you will have an integer, you have a number. If you put like this, you have a string, right? This is different because, uh, let's say, here, this is 34, it's a number, right? You can do it. Or plus 23 and you have 57. Plus 34 plus 34 is 34, 34 because you are adding to a string another string at the end, right? 
So let's say you want the user interval keyword the age, right? So age would be something like input and uh, your age. just need this. You have to convert what you enter to an integer. So you say that this is an integer and now this will work. So this is 56 and we do this one. Yeah. So well, yeah, you have this I, I did this I created that part of the video and some of deleted that, yeah. Because, well, things like this happen. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's all for today. If you have any questions, please comment the video. I will answer it. And if you like that, if you like this video, please like it, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I think I will upload two or three videos a week in English uh, about this course and about the social project uh, please check it because I will program a lot in Python 3 there so and I will teach something on Git and repositories uh, about programming logic so use these videos so thank you for all and see you next time bye